Hello, it's me, Crazy Rebecca Dances with Pitbulls. It's time for a new fabric release. Crazy Quilt Fabric Bundles. Okay, a little pre-sale pep talk here. <laughs> the best way to order would be to email me at crazyquilter59 at yahoo.com. The the link will be at the end of this video, or the, not the link, but the card showing my email address. It's in the description box, and I need you to know the description box is very important because I will have everything listed there, how many I have, and as they are sold, I will update it. So please check the description box. Uh, you click the little arrow on your phone or read more on your computer or tablet. And please do that for me because I hate having to tell you that I'm sold out of something. If you, you know, you look and you, you just watch the video and you say, oh, well, she's got eight of those. Well, I might only have one if you don't check the description box. So, please do that. Also, I upcycle and recycle clothing and fabric to make these bundles. So, some of them may have age spots or other things. So, please be aware that that could happen. It's not very often, but... They, it does happen. Okay. Oh, also, also, hey, hey, psst, hey, also. In the description box, there will be videos of each bundle. Uh, you will see exactly what fabrics are in it. So I'm going to do the timestamp thing. So you can go and say you're interested in these burgundy and golds. You just click on that and it will take you straight to that video. Okay. Okay. So burgundy and gold. These are gorgeous. Gorgeous. Yep, I have eight of those to start with. Eight burgundy and gold. Oh, I should be keeping some kind of list. Wait a minute. Pardon my reach. <laughs> okay. Gee, now I need a pencil. <laughs> Eight. Burgundy and gold. You'd think I'd be prepared, but then you'd be wrong. Two, four, six. Beautiful purples. Six purples. Each bundle will make a wall hanging. Two bundles will make a crib quilt. Uh, one bundle will make wall hanging or several pillows. So two for a crib quilt. Probably four, at least four for a twin size. And this is if you have fabric to put with. Like borders and so on and six for a full eight for a queen ten for a king with your own fabric added okay these these are so pretty this is black purple and teal i outdid myself 
I have eight of these. So six purple. I didn't write that down, of course. Eight black, purple, teal. Okay. I'm over here writing. You can't see me, but you're looking at this beautiful fabric. At least 25 pieces. I try to put over 25. So more like 27, 26, 27. These are light green. And the bundles look smaller, but there are the same amount of fabrics in them. It's just the nature of the fabric was thinner. Two, four, six, eight. Eight light green. have five crybaby blues because I promised some to somebody from the last time I did this. These were a lot of fun to put together. I love blue. Purple, black, and silver. Stacy, listen to me. <laughs> Do you want some of these? Purple, black, purple, black, silver. Eight of those, okay, eight. Purple, black, silver. I should probably hold those for her. I'll try to, I'll try to give her a heads up. is blue and green. Okay, I got six. No, yeah, no. Yes, no, yes, no. Two, four, six. Blue and green. And they're chunky because the fabrics are chunkier. Uh, does that make sense? Like, they're not silks. and There might, might be some silks, but they're just fatter fabrics. Six, blue and green. This would be good for under the sea. Oh, can't you just see it? I can. I can. Okay, I have six. mixed greens so there's a lot of dark but there is see there's some lights in there too just like nature just like nature six of those love how those look okay this is shabby chic this is pink, green, and white. Two, four, six, eight. Eight shabby sheiks. Last, but certainly not least. Oh, scoot over. We have... Get rid of this. Wait a minute. One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight... Of the world famous neutrals, wedding gifts, anniversary gifts. If you just want to be elegant, 
this is the bundle for you. Two, four, six, eight of those. So I encourage you to watch the following videos. And please stay tuned. Hey, maybe I should just right now put that thing that says, you know what I forgot to say? They're $20 a piece. I have gone, I used less fabric. I'm going back to $20. Free shipping. I have to up it. Free shipping over $60. So if you buy three, you'll get free shipping. If you buy one or two, you will pay $5 towards shipping. Okay? Okay. So I will put all that right now and then after that I will put the individual videos of the fabrics and after that I will put that information again so check the description box email me at crazyquilter59 at yahoo.com I mean you can get me other ways but it's really easier I will have my email open all day <laughs> so that way I don't have to, like, check Facebook and check my text messages and check this and check that. I can just check my email. But any anyway, anyway, call me. <laughs> I don't know. Smoke signals. Carrier pigeon. I don't care. All right. Okay, this is a uh, what another one of my favorites. I have so many favorites now. It was inspired by this beautiful fabric that Barbara Kepi sent me, and it is burgundy and gold. We start with a piece of tablecloth in burgundy. We add a piece of that fabric. It's upholstery weight. Piece of really soft satin. This stuff wants to fray. So if you get whiskers, just cut them off. And it seems like burgundy changes colors when you iron it, but it'll go back when it cools down. It's kind of weird like that. We have a paisley lame. Bought this from one of my friends that I grew up with. Actually, her mother. And look at that. It wants to fray also. Be gentle with it. Wait, I'm going to put that up a little. Okay. This is a cotton, but it has paisleys on it. It wants to pick up lint, so keep your lint roller hat handy. Gold curtain. This is like a rayon something. Rayon blend. I think it, what was it? Rayon and surely not acetate, but I don't know why it feels like that's what the label said. This is fun. Fun, fun, fun. Shiny gold sequins. Some burgundy lace. 
or mauve with some burgundy in it. Okay, this stuff is super weird. Okay, the, the side that the glitter is on, do not iron that. And very carefully iron the back of it. I don't know. You're just going to have to <laughs> maybe use a press cloth. There you go. A press cloth. This is like a... I don't know. Has some stretch on the bias. This was a tablecloth and it is gorgeous. Gorgeous. This is some really good velvet. It was a shirt, did not look good on me. So clip, clip, snip, snip. This was a table runner. This, I wish I could get more of it. I'm trying to just give little pieces because my instinct is to just hoard it all. This was a tablecloth. I think Pam Burgoyne gave me that. Another piece of prom dress. This is a silk. I want to call it a shantung or something like silk shantung. I was looking up different types of fabrics. You know what? I need, and I could probably order one, a book or a sample thing with different types of fabrics so I can learn what the heck I'm doing. This is like a... Peach skin. I, I learned that. I, I was calling it a faux suede, but it's more like a peach skin. This was an Indian, as in East Indian, something. I cut it up like a kameez. Somebody was making it. This is yardage. I'm not it had to come from the idea store. This is lining fabric. This was a shirt my friend Becky Milburn gave me. It didn't fit either one of us. <laughs> so, hello scissors. Big piece of lame. Big, big. Another piece of Barbara's fabric. A different one and a different a heavier satin satin shiny on one side and rough on the back matte on the back not necessarily rough 26 pieces this would make a beautiful wall hanging just one bundle, you would make a wall hanging. Several pillows. Burgundy and gold. My new favorite. Okay, who wants purple? Just purple. I think there are 27 pieces in this. We have prom dress. I like to call it aubergine, but I don't know if that's the real name for it. I have a certain way I've been building these. This is shiny.
more on the reddish purple side. This is more what I call like true purple to me. We got shiny lame. Do I need to tell you to be careful with it? Just kind of zhuzh it with your iron. Don't <laughs> because you will melt it. Okay. Got a purple piece of lace. Okay, I can. This is silk. This is cotton. Could use either side of that. This is like a, uh, Rebecca, you should really learn your fabrics. Like a taffeta silk or set? I don't know. It doesn't look, it's not shiny on one side. It's the same on both sides. But it color shifts because this thread is one color and this thread is another color. More prom dress. This is a polyester double knit, but it's very purple and very cool. Like lots of texture, this is also silk. This is probably polyester. It's got tulips on it. Same with this, very textural, love it. This was a jacket, so it's been seamed. Can use either side of that. This is, it's, it might be a cotton. It's so like, it's like a cloud. <laughs> And I wish the shirt had fit me because I would not have cut it up. I would have worn it. But no. This is a stretchy velvet D something. It is way cool. Purple satin. heavier crepe back satin. A different kind of prom dress purple. Okay, you may have gotten three pieces of this, this because I had so much of it and I needed to, you know, flesh out the bundle. Don't forget, you can always add your own fabrics. This could be either side. I'm about out of that. I've had it forever. This is a lining fabric. This is a burnout velvet. Thank you, Tenna. This was a bedspread. You can cut those off or you can leave them and do something with them. Okay, this is my favorite piece of the whole thing. 
It's from a skirt, corduroy. It's got this great embroidery on it. That always makes me happy when I can find something like that. This I'm going to fold because it wants to hang over. It was the lining to the skirt. And this is possibly rayon. I'm not sure, but it's got some texture to it. Fabulous purple bundle. Okay, I love this bundle. Purple black teal. Or black purple teal. Or teal black purple. <laughs> However you want to say it. We have a piece of black matte satin. This is flocked with black velvet this is a purple corduroy it might smell a little bit musty I apologize I use vintage thrifted even though it gets hung out or washed sometimes it still smells A nice black velvet. A larger piece of turquoisey teal. Purple from a prom dress. This stuff, which I adore. It's glitter, looks like rhinestones. I like to put that like that. Purple satin. The teal, it's got a black back, but it's really pretty. Purple lining fabric. This is a stretch velour. It attracts lint and thread, so keep a roller handy when you're using that. It's like a thread magnet. Oh, a button magnet, too. <laughs> Purple satin. This is a small piece of teal stretch velvet. Keep that to the middle. You could get two pieces out of that. Black lining satin. Teal, faux, ultra suede, I don't know.
purple. You could use either side of that. This looks Amish to me. Black lace. Teal, whatever the heck that is. I don't know if this is polyester, but it's way cool. This is that black canvas, I think, from my sister. Always needs iron. This is like a poly knit, but this piece of fabric had some age stains on it, so be aware, work around them, cut them off, embroider on them. A heavier black, like a crepe satin, not black, purple. Duh. This, my old fashioned something, something. Somebody tell me what that is. There's got to be a name. There's got to be a name. I should look at Joanne Fabrics for it, but I think it's... I've never seen it in an actual fabric store. Okay, this was a jacket. Is it stretch? Nope. It's kind of a chenille, but it has silver, purple, and black. This little... Lame and a piece of teal. I believe there are 25 pieces of fabric in this. That's just some interfacing from the jacket. There you have it. Awesome. Okay, this is a light green bundle. Start with a tablecloth or a upholstery weight, maybe. This is cotton. got some texture to it. There's two pieces of that because I had a lot of it. This is a vintage crepe type satin. A piece of fancy dress. piece of stretch knit. Piece of satin, minty green. This is a shiny, I think it's cotton, but it's shiny on one side. There's the other piece of that. This is like a Walmart weight satin. 
a lining satin. I know for sure this is a tablecloth. Another lining satin. Okay, this, you can, I am choosing to leave it wrinkled up. If you want to iron it out, go for it. This is like this on one side and like this on the other. Another lining fabric in a yellow green. Another cool tablecloth. Another cotton. That might be a blend, but I call that Martha Stewart green. This was a curtain. There are two pieces of that. This is a poly knit. I love this. It has those funky lightning bolt patterns on it. There's the other piece of that. A lime green or I don't know if that's lime green, but a poly. polyester blend with really cool polka dots on it. This is very textural also. I wish I had more of that. However, I don't. So I have a sad. This is textural. I like a lot of texture in my quilts. Piece of upholstery. Sagey green lining fabric. And another beautiful piece of satin. And that is the light green bundle. Thank you. Okay, we have the world famous Crybaby Blue bundle. Starts with this, feels like rayon. It's got paisleys on it. We have a drapery or upholstery weight. We have a, one of those fabrics where the, the warp threads are one and the weft threads are another color. So it's kind of a bluish brownish. Whatever, this is really shiny. You have to be careful with it, so don't hit it with a hot iron. This is vintage. I don't know what the content is, but it's got some gold. And I love it a lot. Some stretch velvet in a very, very dark blue. Some like crepe back satin. This was in my quilt that hangs at the office. I, I'm almost out. 
I would love to find more of that. That's why there's only a small piece of it. This is blue and black. It's like a flocked velvet. This is upholstery or drapery. And what? These have a name. Darn it. Like, not flourish. Ugh. I'll think of it at midnight tonight. The darkest of blue. Okay. Because this is recycled stuff, sometimes there's spots. A dark blue moire. Moire, I say. Lame. Again, treat it gently. I don't know what this is called. <laughs> it's sheer. So layer that with something. This is also the darkest of blue. Have a turquoisey, tealy. This darkest of blue with that with those patterns. Piece of the cha cha dress. <sighs> Running out of that, too. <laughs> I need to go to Goodwill. This is velour, not velvet, velour. This is a royal dark blue. Satin. This is the lightest blue in this bundle, but it has sparkles. This is a teal blue. I had yards and yards of that. I meant to make a steampunk outfit out of it, but when the time came, I couldn't find it. It was buried in a tub somewhere, so I went with a red. This is a nice dark blue, and it has a black back on it. Blue lining fabric. Like a, sort of an ultra suede feeling teal blue. Okay, this has some age on it too. I want you to be aware of that. And this has spots. So almost every piece in the every bundle just I don't know, embroider over it <laughs> or ignore it and say, you know, that's just part of its story. This is a lame. I love that. Okay. So this is the baby blues. Cry baby blues. My friend Laura gave, me, gave them that name when she saw all the fabric hanging on the line. She says, oh, you should call that cry baby blues. I'm like, okay. I think I will. And so I did. This bundle's very pretty. It is silver, black, and purple. Okay, I got a way that I'm doing this. Okay. Look at this. I love this. I think I got it at the idea store. I had to have. 
it's glitter, but it really looks like rhinestones. This is a dark silver lame. Black satin. This is from a bedspread. I don't know. <laughs> this was a top. Okay, I don't know if you can see, but it's like little embroidered flowers and flourishes on it. Burnout Velvet. Black Silk from a silk shirt. Really good velvet. It's got a seam, but it's really flat because this was a quality garment. Okay, this is interesting. See how that's a little bit darker? But if on this side, it's this white. I like this side better. It's, I don't know, it's weird. Use either side. It's your quilt, do what you want. Right? Am I right? Purple satin. It's like a stretch velour. It's not a real velvet. Keep that towards the middle. This is vintage. Some pieces may be discolored because it's vintage, man. Things happen. What is this? This is probably curtain fabric. Because I don't think you'd want to sit on that. Black lining fabric, probably. Different purple prom dress. A lighter color of lame. Some really cool lace to layer. Go this way. This was a dress. This is cotton canvas. I think my sister may have gotten me that. Because I told her I wanted a black canvas. <laughs> she bought fabric instead of a black canvas. That's okay. All right, this is silver. I think in one of the bundles, the, this is discolored, but just work with it. This was from a jacket. Look at it shine. Can you see it shine? Can't tell. Then 
This is, I don't know, I don't know what they call this kind of satin, but it re reminds me of like widow's weeds or, I don't know, this was a beautiful prom dress I just got. Oh, you should have seen the diamonds on it. I'll show you my personal stash sometime. This is corduroy. Okay. If you don't have one of these rollers, you need to get one. Because it takes the lints and the fuzzies right off. This is ancient. Um, it's got to be 20 years old. And I'm going to run out of it someday. But today, it's in there. This is really weird. Because this is the side that was... No, this was the inside. This is the side that was out on the dress. I just think it's weird, but it's cool, and it's silver, and it goes with black, silver, purple, and finally a heavier, like a crepe, crepe type of satin. And here is your black, silver, purple bundle. Okay, this is a blue-green bundle. I put like 30 pieces in because some of the pieces are slightly smaller than I usually use but it's still a lot of fabric and the bundles are quite chunky. So you got a really nice forest green. This is a shimmery teal with black on the back. A green poly blend. I think this bundle would be good for like under the sea. This is a teal green, teal blue green with gold bubbles, bubbles, tiny bubbles. A blue velour. Definitely very pretty. Oops. See how you're going to play. This was a blouse. It's probably cotton poly, but it's got some texture. This is cotton. It's got silvery glitters in it. Another dark green. I'm at the bottom of the pile, so all the lint is migrated down. This is kind of mermaidy. I think. Sheer blue. This is 
a sage green from a fancy dress. This is beaded blue from the cha-cha dress. I'm getting down to the end of that. I need to find another one. have a green like a woven knit chenille lots of texture in this bundle the darkest of blue a textural like a poly knit polyester I don't know what a double knit is anymore I know it when I see it, and I'm not sure that this is one. This is a dark blue brocade with flourishes. Love, love, love that fabric. This is a burnout velvet in sage green, olive green. a problem now. Like a kind of a faux suede ish. Dark dark blue satin. Green lace with lots of texture. Love it, love it, love it. I don't know what's going on out there. Okay. Turquoisey blue. Okay. I'll put a piece of this. And to me, it looks like seaweed. So, or use it however you want, but. Okay, that is a ladder I see going by there. Ouch, stupid. Okay. This is kind of, it's got, see the green in it and the blue? This is, I, I love this color. A green cotton, it's kind of variegated. This is like a Prussian blue stretch velvet. This is ancient. I have had this forever and a day. Getting, getting down to the end of it. And by forever, I mean 20 years, maybe, or more. It's gone <laughs> from Illinois to Colorado and back. This was my theme fabric. Darkest of blue with some greens and some teals and some... Yes. So I have given you two of these. And a piece of wrinkly satin, which I'm sorry to see this stuff go to. That was a skirt from Goodwill. Okay, 
<laughs> now the tricky part. Rolling this fat boy up. There you have it, a blue-green bundle. For all your underwater needs, or whatever, or whatever. These are some greens. The good thing about greens is that they all go together. They all go together beautifully. So we have a damask tablecloth. This is a cotton with gold on top of it. This is a gorgeous, gorgeous green, dark green satin. This is a polyester double knit, but look at that. How cool is that? I think there are 26 pieces of fabric in this collection. This is a vintage, is that crepe back satin or something like that? Crepe satin. Once again, I did not do my research. Maybe somebody will tell me. This one is like a sagey green, but it's cut on the bias, so it's kind of funky. It came like that, a uh, lime green lining satin lining fabric this is textural i use this in my crazy quilt skirt which i still haven't released that video because I'm just not happy with it this is a double knit also it's got some texture Dark forest green. This is probably a poly blend. It's got kind of a raised dotty pattern on it. They're like crepey feeling satin. You could use either side of that. This is more of a olive, dark olive green. You get two pieces of this tablecloth because I had so much of it. This was a curtain, and it's like a faux suede. The fuzzies off of them. This too was a curtain.
This is upholstery weight or curtain weight. This is a cotton yellowish sagey something something. This is a satin from a prom dress. There might be these little stitch things where it was attached to the lining. I couldn't really get them out without causing holes, so I just left them. This is the other piece of that tablecloth. This is also from a tablecloth. Green satin, like oh sage, sagey green. This is like a polyester in the famous Martha Stewart green. Okay, you get another piece of this. It's the same as that. This is a funky green, <laughs> but all greens go together. Go out and look in your garden. You don't believe me. And finally, uh, this is, you could use either side. More shiny, less shiny, but has some texture to it. Love, love, love the texture. Behold the dark green bundle. Not dark, the green bundle with a lot of darks in it. But not totally dark. This is the neutral bundle. This is that fabric I wasn't, I'm not sure. It may have a slight greenish yellowish cast to it, but it still goes with this bundle. It's from a curtain. This is also curtain weight. Got some shiny stuff. Some cream colored lace some gold shiny stuff cotton eyelet some bridal satin in cream bridal satin in white this has gold this is probably one of the darkest. It's a lining fabric. More bridal satin. This has a texture on one side. This is a ecru linen. This is like a curtain weight. This is like a blouse weight. I got that at the Idea Store. I'm about out of that. This is curtain or upholstery weight. Got some nice texture. This is some curtain lace. This is a tablecloth, some beige moire. I'm so fancy. This was a curtain. I love this. Tablecloth. This was a curtain. 
This was some that Pam gave me. I don't know what she had planned with that. A different kind of lace. It's more really nice satin. Some white moire. And that may be the same satin. neutral bundle. Okay, this is the Shabby Chic bundle. It starts with this embroidered piece of cotton, maybe a cotton blend. White piece of satin. There are 27 pieces. We have a green think it's satin. I could not find a label on the dress that it came from. Pink, probably a poly. A white eyelet. This is also from that dress from the other piece, but it's the outer layer, so it's got a little texture to it. We have a pink satin. We have a piece of this. This is the last of this. I bid thee farewell. Big piece of Mart Martha Stewart green is what I call that. Martha Stewart green. A pink, probably some kind of polyester blend. I got enough of that to make a dress out of or something. If I knew how to sew clothes, if I wanted to sew clothes, which I don't, and I don't, so. A white, brocadey, jacardy kind of something from a blouse. We've got some pale green lace. Some upholstery weight. More bridal satin. I don't like these edges. A sagey green satin. This is a pink netting with gold flecks. Be careful when you iron that. White lace. This is gorgeous. I think that was a tablecloth. This is a very pale pink. Definitely very pale. Okay, I struggle with the color on this. On one hand, it looks like a neutral, but on the other hand, it looks like a very pale yellowish green. But either way, it goes, goes beautifully. 
This is from a prom dress. This could be like a silk chaton. This is a pink cotton too. Add some pink because it's pink, green, and white. To me, a shabby chic. Another piece from a blouse. Another sagey green. I think this was from a curtain. Little pink and white roses. Very shabby chic. Definitely very shiny. And this lining satin in a color I cannot describe. <laughs> kind of teal, kind of not. Have it. Shabby chic.